Hi, it's Rachel here again. Uh, today I thought I would show you um, the fabrics that I chose to redo our project, the block of the month for Homespun magazine. So these are the original fabrics that we used, uh, Tilda Lemon Tree collection. Uh, we also used some of their planes and also Robert Kaufman Essex yarn dyed fabrics as well. So they're the original colours, they were quite bright and cheery, but I've gone for a more subtle sort of colour palette. So what I did was, I started off with one fabric, I thought I'd like to combine uh, some old fabrics and new fabrics, and I had a couple of new fabrics arrive that I had bought on Instagram, and so this is one of them here, and I absolutely love it here. And so I thought this is a definite must. I have to use this. So what I did was I pretty much pulled out what I had and I've put them all into this basket here. One's just fallen out of place. I don't know if you can see it so well. So that one. And I've color put them in colors. So there's a few um, tildes from other collections. And then I have a couple of old fabrics like this one is an old fabric, antique fabric. When I say old, I mean antique. This is an antique fabric. Um, and then some are old fabrics that I've had, like this is a very old Robin Pandolf fabric that I love, that I, you know, I kind of hoard these things and don't use them for things that I sell because I love them. Um, so oh, this is another antique French fabric here, or English, I'm not sure, but I bought them from an English lady in France. And so I pulled out pretty much what I had and then um, I went on an Etsy shop. I don't know if I have their business card here. I can't remember the name of the shop. Oh yes, here it is. I went, I'll just grab it. I bought from there in England because I'm in Italy so I, I wanted to buy from someone nearby. Purple Stitches on Etsy. Um, I, think, I think that's them. This was the card in my package. Anyway, um, I, I put, I'll put a link in the, the box below when I finish the video. I went in and just bought a few fabrics that I needed because uh, I, might, I needed a few coordinating stripes or less sort of patterned fabrics as well. So I bought like this type of fabric here. I bought the stripe which I need for my background. Um, I bought this as a Essex linen, a couple of Essex linens and two blues. Um, this is a Liberty Green that I bought to include. Uh, so I did add in a couple couple of yellows because I'm always missing yellows. This is a beautiful old Tilda mustardy sort of yellow. And so this is my box, my go-to box for um, the quilt as it, as it comes along. And then I bought a couple of little packages from Lulu Retro on, on Etsy. Um, I won't. I probably won't use the laces, but I bought these to include as well in the block of the month. So I wanted to combine a bit of the new and the, a bit of old. So that's my basket, and that will just sit around all year until I finish the project. And then, so my background for this part of it here, the the background for each of the applique blocks is this stripe that you can see here which is a gorgeous light color. And then my border, oh, what, I can't remember. Oh yeah, my borders, the little, so here you see the aqua borders. They're going to be linen. This is a Robert Kaufman Essex linen. And then I thought for um, the dark sort of green here, it's going to be this gorgeous. It's actually a, a very pale bluey sort of gray color. Um, so they're the, for the, those main parts and then I have started the first block and then I stopped because I was really busy doing um, English workshops at school but I'll just show you how it's coming along here so the colors are really just move that slightly the colors are really pretty so I might show I need to app start applying the butterfly so I might do a video showing how I go about that I'm always a little bit messy and I do tend to um, pin my appliques down completely and then I'll start appliquing it with everything pinned in place so that way I'm sure I get it in the right spot. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video and I will be back with an applique video.